I wanted to talk about No Nut November. So No Nut November, I don't know exactly what year it became popular. Uh, according to Wikipedia, dates back to 2011 and became popular on social media sites like Reddit. Basically is a month long challenge in the month of November to not ejaculate all month long, carried over into abstinence from explicit material like pornography. Um, and so the goal is to encourage the penis owners around you and yourself, if you own a penis, not to ejaculate all November long. Hey, YouTube fans, it is your favorite urologist, Dr. Brenda Milhouse, board-certified urologist, co-founder, co-CEO of Down There Urology in Chicago. And I wanted to talk about No Nut November. If you've never heard about this, where have you been? But um, I want to talk about basis of it and what we in the medical field, urology field, uh, particularly think about ejaculation, accidents from ejaculation, potential benefits or potential risks. It is thought to potentially help you um, improve mental health, uh, sexual health by kind of abstaining from sexuality, uh, kind of allowing your body to reset. I have seen in my practice men come in and, and feel like they needed to abstain from masturbation or abstain from pornography. They needed to abstain from these things in the attempt to either improve desire, uh, arousal or erection, or improve time to orgasm. On an individual basis, abstinence from sex might help reconnect you. Um, it may be a credible psychotherapy type recommendation if there are components of it that seem to be getting in the way of normal sexual function. But as a whole, uh, we in the urology community don't recognize any specific benefits from abstaining from all ejaculation. So it's important to note that ejaculation isn't just about having sex, okay? Ejaculation, the emission of semen, can occur from partnered sex, can occur from masturbation or wet dreams. And certainly when it comes to wet dreams, that is beyond an individual's control. So in general, urologists uh, have not found that there is an obvious health benefit to abstaining from all types of ejaculation, uh, particularly for as long as a month. And in fact, recent data has found an association with more frequent ejaculation and the potential lower risk of prostate cancer. I talked about this in a previous video and I've been seeing this messaging circulating now on social media. So the word is getting out. So there is a large Harvard study, over 29,000 men were followed, uh, what we call a prospective cohort study. So they were recruited for the study and then they were followed for several years, several years, several years. And they asked the men how frequently that they ejaculated, either with partnered sex, masturbation, or wet dreams, nocturnal emissions. And uh, the participants relayed their frequency and they followed these participants out and they uh, looked to who got prostate cancer. And they found that in the men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had a significantly lower risk of prostate cancer as compared to men who ejaculated less than five times per month. Uh, risk was 31% lower in those individuals who ejaculated more frequently. This was most significant, less aggressive, or earlier stage prostate cancers, okay? So more ejaculations equaled less risk of prostate cancer. So a similar study out of Australia, which only had about 2,000 participants or men, found similar findings that if you ejaculated around five to seven times per week, you had a 36% lower risk of prostate cancer. Now, it's important that we make clear that we have not established any causation. Okay, these are both correlations or, um, from observational studies. And there are certainly other things to the story that we in science have probably not yet elucidated. Uh, the other thing is that in, in both of these studies, the individual participants were majority white individuals. And particularly from the Harvard study, there was a greater 
risk reduction or significance in less aggressive prostate cancer types. All that to say is that this is that in other demographics of men, um, particularly in black men who are at higher risk for prostate cancer and higher risk for more aggressive prostate cancer, we don't know if the results are the same. And certainly we aren't as a urology community at this point recommending that men just routinely uh, ejaculate several times a month just to lower the risk of prostate cancer. But it does seem that the concept of No Nut November might be counterproductive if you're thinking about your prostate health. If you're somebody who is struggling with some aspect of your sexual function, it's really important that you know that specialists like myself, urologists, sex therapists can work together to help benefit you and to help get you back in with full sexual wellness. Let me know if you participate in No Nut November and what you might have experienced from abstin abstaining from ejaculation, or if you think it's completely ridiculous, let me know below. Love reading your comments. And as always, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe so you can hear all things down there right here.